Come on, just a little to the left. Drop and drag. As the geosimulation finished scanning the Northwest Vector. It made its preliminary sweep, sir. Cinder and ash deposits, magna pools, fissure flows, the usual. The future of Erlandis could depend on this simulation. I need you to watch that vector very carefully. Yes, sir. Wait. What is it? It can't be. If these air density readings are accurate, we found it. We found the Mount Elias. But I thought that was just a legend. Not anymore. Get the dragonflies together. We must send out a recon team at once. Apex, recheck the coordinates. We've been out here for hours. Something should have turned up by now. No, we're on course, but I sense something strange in the air. Strange? How about boring? Come on, Summit! Drag race you to the horizon! You're on! Hey, where'd he go? Oh, yeah? Well, two can play that jive and dive. You give up, Peak? Hey, give up? You know you can't keep a good man down. to touch ground is a rotten gremwing. Oh, I thought mirages were only something you saw in a mm. desert. It looks like a postcard of paradise. Hmm. Citizens of Erlandus, we now have confirmation of the existence of a formerly undiscovered and unchartered landmass, which I believe to be the legendary mountain range, Mount Elias. <coughs> Are you okay, sis? Yes. Hard ride. Just a little drag lag, that's all. Mm. Aaron tells me we are close enough to reach the Elias by Stratoglider. So I propose we initiate a volunteer settlement program immediately. No, Josh, we haven't properly secured the region. It's too soon to send the first settlers. Who better to ensure their safety than your own flesh and blood, the dragonflies? Well, let's I'll go! I'll volunteer! Yeah, I'll How soon? Get my whole family! Ready. Ready. Take, Take me! me. No, listen, come on! Take me! When are we going? Everyone, please, calm down. By decree of the Council, we'll draw lots for the first wave of settlers.
Too close to the trees! Don't worry, the dragonflies will get us out. Riptor, the air boom! Blink, it means I'm lying to you. Now, did you see me blink? interested in this little expedition. <laughs> Dax here for 15 years, and I've never seen him so much as raise his voice, let alone raise a weapon. Doctor, could Dreadwing have done this? I scanned him. No neurological changes. His blood chemistry is fine. There's nothing. If it's Dreadwing, I have no idea how he's doing it. Hi there, my name's Peek. I didn't get a chance to introduce myself before when I risked my life and saved you from that out-of-control stratoglider. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Well, then I'll just have to find something else to save you from. But this place is paradise. What could there be to save me from? Well, you never know. Gremwings, lava beasts, dark dreaming. This is a rough neighborhood. There could be all kinds of monsters. D did I say monsters? I didn't mean monsters exactly. Wow. <laughs> I just remembered. I, I, I got to save somebody. What a strange boy. Put your hands up. Peek. There was this girl, but she wasn't a girl. I mean, Peek, it's me, Zenith. I mean, I mean, she was, but then she wasn't. I mean, you, you gotta believe me. I believe you. What I don't believe is what's happening here. I think it's time we put in a call to the council. We've got to bring them back home, now. Bring them back? For what reason? 
There was nothing in Zenith's report that could be substantiated. Do you have any idea how much is riding on the success of this expedition? But they could be in great danger. There's no problem here except the one you're creating. If there's any danger, that's what your dragonflies are there for. Tell them to handle it. At nine o'clock! I knew it! I knew when we lifted the rock, we'd find Dread crawling under it. Dragonflies, maximize! The sun is setting on new dragonflies and rising on the new ruler of Air Landis. <laughs> No time to find out. We've got to stop Dread before he gets to the settlement. Down at once, or they will be destroyed. Well, it looks as if we've netted some dragonflies for our collection. <laughs> Dreadwing, munitions, laser welders, raw plasteel, food replicators. Oh, but we have something much more valuable than all that, Gangram. We have something Air Landis will want back so badly they'll have no choice but to trade their city for it. Air Landis, this is Dreadwing. I have captured your settlement and the dragonflies. I will meet with only two of your council leaders to negotiate their release. No, father! Now, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I will meet with Aaron and Councilman Joshua. There is a price to pay for paradise. It would seem, Aaron, that not only have the dragonflies cost us Mount Elias, they have compromised the safety of Erlandus as well. Destroy them now, Dreadwing! No! Not till we've trapped Aaron. And then Elias and Erlandus will be ours. <laughs> Aaron, we're going with you. A Dragonator takes care of its own. No, Zarkan. The offer is appreciated. But Dreadwing will kill the prisoners if he sees anyone other than Joshua and me. What's in the pack, Aaron? I forbid you to jeopardize these negotiations with weapons. This is simply some medical equipment and provisions. I assure you, no weapons. <sighs> Thank you, Dram. 
Now leave us. Where are they? Something's wrong. Redwing, we've honored our side of the bargain. That's because you are honorable men. I, on the other hand, am neither honorable nor a man. You will immediately surrender Airlandus to me or the hostages will die! Let the others go. Take me instead. I never fully understood the concept of sacrifice, but since you've offered yourself so willingly, I will take you up on your offer. And you can die with the other! to them. It's as if they've all gone mad. They're firing on their own troops. They've also left us an opening. Come on. Put this on now. It's the air. The air is the true enemy, not dread. Whatever you do, don't lift your gas masks. Your lives and those of everyone in Erlandis depend upon it. Understood. Stop and smell the flowers, but I guess you already did. No, no, you have our father to thank for today's victory. Yes, but it was your fears that gave me the answer, Zenith. The beauty of these flowers is deceptive and deadly. It seems the fauna of Mount Elias secrete a scent that affects the neurons of the human brain giving rise to our innermost fears. That's why we saw what we saw, and what we feared. But how could we settle here, then? We can't. Further exposure would prove lethal. I'm sorry, but we must leave the Mount Elias at once. For us, Elias must remain a legend, never to be. I know I pushed, Aaron, and for that I am sorry. In my own way, I may want to find the home place more than anyone. We all want to, Joshua. And one day our feet will walk on solid ground. But in the meantime, the air up here smells especially sweet today. Dragonfly! 